everyone myself Fabio today's session of market movers is dedicated to the sell off which we are seeing in the equity segment of the financial markets and if we consider the currency segment there the dollar has weakened against most of the major uh, peer currencies and in today's session the risk cover sentiments are uh, taking hold and the major uh, driving factor behind this uh, drawdown you can say the lower uh, pullback in the equities is um, this uh, ongoing tensions between the united states and china first the united states ordered the closure of chinese consulate in the houston and in a retaliatory move the china has ordered the us to close its uh, consulate in the chinese city of chengdu uh, pardon me if i get the pronunciation wrong so that has driven the equity is uh, lower in uh, today's session on the data docket we had a uh, kind of uh, heavy data release today we had uh, pmi releases for multiple countries in the euro area prior to that we also got the pmi number for australia and then just uh, after some time we will also be getting the pmi numbers for the united states so in a way you can say that today is a pmi day if we take a look on the australia's pmi number here uh, the trend is uh, clearly visible in most of the releases which we have got so far in the day the readings are better than the expectations and uh, australia set the tone early in the day when it got the service manufacturing and the composite uh, composite pmi numbers all above the expectations and uh, closer to their uh, yearly highs and then later on we also got the retail sales numbers for the united states and here surprisingly we are only seeing a fall of 1.6% the decline of 1.6% in uh, year on year terms and if we consider in month on month terms then there is a robust rise of 13.9% for the month of june so this is a really remarkable turnaround in the united kingdom's economy as the economy is uh, trying to get back on track after the closures in the prior months of april and may moving on to the uh, other uh, major economies in the euro area we got the pmi release for the france as well and here also all the pmi numbers starting from manufacturing services and the composite pmi are in the vicinity of uh, their yearly highs multi year highs and here the services uh, pmi is at 57.8 which is a lot higher than the expectation of 52.3 and the manufacturing pmi is just a tad lower than the expectation but the composite pmi is uh, high moving on to the germany's pmi release here also the germany's pmi release is uh, also better than expectation and uh, though the manufacturing sector is not showing a robust expansion but still it has managed to get in the expansion mode the reading uh, of 50 which is a good sign and the services sector has uh, shown a remarkable turnaround and for the month of july now the pmi reading these are uh, flash releases actually these are first uh, estimates now the services pmi is at 56.7 and uh, for the euro area as a whole here also the trend continues and we are uh, getting the better than uh, we have got better than expected numbers and the services pmi stands at 55.1 and the manufacturing pmi stands at 51.1 and the uh, composite pmi is at 54.8 and all three readings are actually better than expectations then uh, we also got the number for uh, united kingdom and uh, i don't think i need to repeat that here also releases are better than expectation and now it's uh, the turn of united states for which we will get uh, we will get the data uh, very soon and here also the readings are of course better than the prior month and now for the month of july we are seeing uh, the likelihood of uh, expansion in both services as well as uh, manufacturing sector but uh, this resurgence of the coronavirus uh, cases in united states will uh, put uh, 
some downward pressure so let's see how data turns out for the united states now moving on to the technical outlook we will uh, see the uh, nasdaq and then we will move on to the usd jpy let's start with the nasdaq technical outlook first this is the daily time frame chart and uh, this rally has uh, shown the signs of topping out closer to this 11000 level of course the geopolitical tensions are uh, bearing their uh, own uh, sentimental impact but if we consider the broader market structure here the rally has been kind of phenomenal and if we see some sort of correction from these uh, highs close to these record levels of 11000 then that shouldn't really be a surprise and on the lower side i am expecting the levels of around 10000 to be reached in uh, maybe some weeks time if not in days of course the possibility also remains right that we might see this happening in a couple of days but let's see let's not be too overly optimistic as the underlying momentum has been on the bullish side so for nasdaq to fall and fall sharply towards 10,000 will be a tough ask but in the market you never know and uh, here we will broadly have to rely on the formation on the lower time frame chart as uh, not much can be uh, concluded looking at this chart on the daily time frame so if we move to the 4 hourly chart and if we consider this pure point formation here we have this uh, first resistance which had acted as a prior support after this break above this zone in the first week of July and then we saw this uh, turnaround and then consolidation in the middle of the month around this uh, 10,500 level and again this uh, retest of uh, prior swing high, prior, prior all time highs and uh, now we are uh, seeing fresh sell off and in yesterday's session that uh, really put the nasdaq on the downward uh, trajectory from the short to medium term perspective and if the nasdaq is not really able to gain ground and if we see that uh, price action continues to remain in this uh, band below first resistance then naturally in uh, next week we are seeing the higher likelihood of uh, nasdaq approaching these uh, 10000 zone the central pivot point of this uh, pivot point uh, this month's pivot point series and the regression curve which has been in a uh, upward momentum for uh, quite a while now is also likely to flatten to some extent as uh, the price action has uh, entered into uh, this uh, bearish zone of uh, the lower band and now as you can see here the price action has also dropped below this lower band of uh, this month's uh, uh, sorry this uh, regression curve and that is likely to put the downward pressure in the formation of uh, the regression curve and uh, if you consider the immediate resistance zone for the nasdaq i think this uh, prior swing low on which the nasdaq consolidated is now likely to act as a near term uh, resistance zone for the nasdaq and uh, here we have the confluence of 100 50 and uh, 200 SMA in the price band of 10,700 to 10,800. So this is the immediate resistance zone for the Nasdaq and I am of the view that as long as the price action is uh, below this uh, immediate resistance zone, the best idea to go for any trade in the Nasdaq is to look for short selling opportunity. So here that is the uh, uh, I think uh, outlook for the near term in the nasdaq and it's now advisable to look for short selling opportunities anywhere if we see some uh, short term uh, rally if uh, we see some retracement from current levels and if we can get any entry closer to this resistance zone that would be the best uh, trading bait in uh, today's session but as uh, is the case today is the friday and uh, of course we will be seeing the market closer after the united states uh, trading session and then we will have to wait till monday for the further action so because of that we have to be due cautious and i am not really advising going for uh, short selling opportunities now at the current juncture as the price has already seen steep drop 
in yesterday's session and then continuation of yesterday's downward momentum in today's session as well so i am advising uh, sit on the sidelines approach here and wait it out till we see some sort of retracement in the nasdaq and any upward momentum some corrective move towards the higher side anywhere close to as i said this uh, zone this price band of 10700 to 10800 would be a welcome opportunity for us to get involved on the selling side we will look for fresh selling trades in the nasdaq with a stop loss coming in closer to the 11000 zone just uh, closer to this immediate uh, swing high which is there around uh, 10950 so this can be considered as our crucial marker while uh, deciding to go for a short selling opportunities in the nasdaq moving on to the usd jpy technical outlook in yesterday's session we had considered the possibility of usd jpy getting close to this uh, prior uh, swing lows around uh, 106 level and that's what has uh, precisely happened if any of you had gone in for yesterday's uh, trade i think you might be sitting on a pretty good amount of profit in uh, today's trading session so here now the case is that we will see the continuation of the downward momentum in usd jpy and i am expecting in due course of time to uh, drop the usd jpy towards this 100% fibonacci expansion that is around 104 level so this is a possibility i am betting on and uh, if we see this uh, prior formation here we have this formation of uh, lower high and uh, and uh, the possibility of a fresh lower low being made in uh, today's session or maybe in couple of trading sessions is a uh, pretty high so we will have a formation of lower lows and lower highs and uh, that will be a uh, added confirmation for the bearish stance in the usd jpy so from the daily time frame perspective as well the things look pretty bearish for the usd jpy and uh, this new found momentum is coming in after due consolidation so i am expecting it to last for at least a week or two moving on to the four hourly chart here also we had uh, discussed this consolidation phase closer to 107 in yesterday's session and now we have break below this uh, immediate uh, prior swing lows around 106.7 and that uh, opens up the possibility the window for usd jpy to drop further and uh, here we have this uh, next first support of uh, this month's pivot point series around 106 which is likely to act as a near term support so if from these levels if we get any bounce if we see some sort of retracement we can uh, look for uh, fresh opportunities to go short i'm not advising to go for long opportunities long trades as uh, i feel the momentum is uh, pretty bearish and it's never a good idea to try to catch a falling knife so here the outlook is uh, bearish and in keeping with this uh, possibility the best thing will be to do and uh, go for a sell trade here and uh, as i said in due course of time even the levels close to 104 can be reached in usd jpy but for the short to medium term perspective we'll, we will have to mostly rely on the hourly chart to see what can be considered as our entry and the exit point so here coming to the hourly chart we can use this uh, prior swing low on which we had uh, a turn around happening in uh, the first half of this week and then in yesterday's session we had this consolidation before this breakdown on the lower side so now i feel that uh, any opportunity to go short in the usd jpy in uh, vicinity of this 50 sma can be taken into account so any move towards say this uh, prior uh, swing low which is likely to act as a near term resistance now can be considered as a opportunity for us but as the things stand i'm not really optimistic that you the gpy will see any upward momentum to that extent in today's session uh, of course nothing is certain anything can happen but that is my assessment looking at the current situation so let's see if we can get any trading opportunity 
otherwise that's uh, likely to be a dull trading session and uh, we are not seeing any imminent trading uh, opportunities which are emerging after these uh, moves which have already taken place and um, basically today's session can be devoted to the continuation of the earlier trades if you have any or you can say the continuation of the earlier trend if you are uh, sitting on the sidelines and watching only the trends which are already prevalent in various equity as well as uh, financial instruments so that's it from my side for uh, today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with uh, trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided have a fabulous day ahead see you tomorrow uh, not tomorrow on monday have a fabulous weekend as well goodbye